Mashed potato, take one. Hello and welcome to another episode of Christopher Quarant Christoph Quarantine Cooking. I'm going to show you how to make really nice mash. This is going to be a quick tutorial. Um, so yeah, mash, lovely. Got some of the finest Maris Pipers. Those are really good for mash, Maris Pipers. You get them in uh, pretty much every shop. Uh, if you haven't already, get one of these speed peelers. They're amazing. For two people, you get about three uh, decent sized potatoes. This is quite important. Get yourself a pot of water. Cut them the size of a golf ball. Cut them here. They all need to be the same size because then they cook evenly. Cut rinse. Yeah, they're about this size. On the hub, hub, hub in the hub. And let it cook. It's important not to cut your uh, potatoes too small because they will cook too quickly and they will contain too much water for it to become proper mash. And then bring it up to the boil. Once it's up to the boil, bring it down to a simmer. Uh, you want to keep it on a simmer like this. Don't boil the fuck out of it, basically. Okay guys, I think the potatoes are ready. You can go through them really nice with the knife and they fall off your knife too. So I think this is perfect. So what I like to do, put them back in the pot, put the lid on for a little bit longer, it will dry up. So, I've got a masher here, I'm just going to break them up quickly. I had about 20, 125 grams of butter set aside, but I think that's a little bit too much. I mean, you could put it in because it'll taste really nice. Uh, so I'm just going to do about 100 grams first. Really important, you season it with white pepper, not black pepper. Don't put black pepper in mash, it looks shit, and it doesn't taste as good. White pepper, always white pepper for mash. Also, fine sea salt, yes. The white pepper just tastes better and it distributes better over the mash, uh, and the same with salt. Also, the butter is unsalted butter because you want to have control over how much seasoning you put in. I think I'm just going to go with 125 grams. Good pinch of salt. Be careful with white pepper, it's very strong and you easily overdo it. So I'm just going to take a pinch, about that much. Good. Grab your rubber spatula. And you just keep stirring it till the butter is completely melted and absorbed in the mash. And that's some. Tasty ass mash. That's kind of what you want. I'm sorry for the mess. I haven't had much time because I've been drawing. Anyway, there you have it. And you can have that with anything you like. I'm going to have it with some veggie sausages and some broccoli. But you can do whatever you like with your mash. Enjoy. Can I have a quick taste. That is delicious. So simple. Subscribe below and there.